Trauma means a wound. That's the literal meaning of the word. It's a Greek word for wounding. So trauma is a psychological wound that you sustain. And um, it behaves like a wound. The trauma is not what happens to you, but what happens inside you is the wound. I can give you the example of, of a Donald Trump who had a really traumatic childhood. I mean, his father was, a, this, as described by his psychologist niece, Mary Trump, his father, Trump's father, who is Mary's grandfather, was a psychopath and who really uh, demeaned and harshly treated their, their children. So Trump decides unconsciously that, by the way, I'm not talking about his policies here. I'm not, this is not a political debate. And in the book, I point out that his opponent was also traumatized, uh, Hillary Clinton. So this is this is a uh, ecumenical uh, view of trauma in politics. I'm not choosing sides. I'm just saying that you can see his trauma in every moment he opens his mouth. His grandiosities need to make himself bigger, more powerful, aggressive. And he's as much as said in his autobiography that the world is a horrible place, a dog eat dog place where everybody is after you. Everybody wants your wife and your house and your wealth, and this is your friends, never mind your enemies. But that's the world he lives in. Now that world that he lives in reflects his childhood home. He developed that worldview. He came to it honestly, you might say, because that's the world that he lived in. And he gets to be really successful in this crazy world. You know, financially, although people question, you know, was he really as big a success as he says he was? But he certainly was successful politically, if by success you mean the attainment of power. His brother, on the other hand, Mary Trump's father, Trump's niece's father, drank himself to death. And they were both responses to the same, you can never say it's exactly the same for two kids, but there was that, there was a toxic home environment. One ends up dead as an alcoholic, the other ends up at the pinnacle of power. Um, and when I look at them both, I see dysfunction there, significant dysfunction there. Donald Trump learned that the way to survive is to be aggressive and harsh and competitive and to get the other before they get to you, which is a faithful reproduction of his early childhood experiences. So for him, these were not choices so much as survival techniques. And uh, when they talk about his lying well i don't know when he's lying or when he's not but uh, my sense is that often he actually believes what he's saying and actually his biographer or the person who co-wrote his uh, quasi autobiographical the out of the deal this this writer says that he's never met anybody who is so capable of believing something that's not true to be true if he wants it to be true now that's the mark of a traumatized child you know, a, a denial of reality. It is an inauguration. There was a certain number of people that came to the... He couldn't stand it that there weren't as many people there as came to Barack Obama's inauguration. There were a much slum, smaller number of people there. He created this reality where many more people came to his inauguration. Now, what age behavior is that? That's a four-year-old where more kids came to his party than my party. That can't be true. But that's Donald's way of dealing with reality. It's not a moral failing as such. That's how he survived. And these survival um, mechanisms for, then get to form our personalities. And again, in this world, sometimes they pay off in certain ways. Is that, is that often the case with pathological liars? They've learned to lie as a way to survive. Oh, absolutely. The, the, the German philosopher, writer Nietzsche, Friedrich Nietzsche said, people lie their way out of reality who have been hurt by reality. Yeah. It's a defense against reality and it's a defense against um, being judged. You know, nobody's born a liar. There are congenial liars, but are, there are no congenital liars. No one day old baby tells any lies. No one day old baby pretends anything. If we end up pretending in any way at all, to the extent that we do, it's because we had to learn that's what we must do to survive.